Look, everyone, this poor old lady is eating lunch all by herself. Are you recording me, Jennifer? Old age is so beautiful. Who are you calling? <coughs> oh, get over here, Grandma! Is everyone no? To me? Good morning. It's time to take your medicine. Bombastic side eye. No, Miss Applewood. There'll be no side eyeing today. Now take your medicine. <sighs> you really thought you ate that? No, I don't. But you need to eat your medicine. No, I don't want my medication. I want girl dinner. After you take your medicine. Girl dinner. No, please don't start singing again. Girl dinner. Girl dinner. All right, unplug your life support. Miss Applewood, you soiled yourself. Come on, let's go and get you cleaned up. No, I'm in my pooping my pants era. What happened to your clean girl era? Let's bring that back. Clean girl aesthetic. Exactly. Now let's go get washed up. You're giving me the ick. You're giving me the ick because you smell so bad. Where'd you get that? What are you eating? My husband. Today, we will be making our last girl dinner. Miss Applewood, are you on your phone again? Your grandchildren don't want you to have too much screen time. Mind your business, Susan! What is our dessert? Moldy muffins. Yes, that's my favorite food. I need my glasses. Cake? No, no, no. Too sweet, too sweet. Need some mold on it. Pizza? No, no. Too cheese. Too much cheese! No! Yes. Yes. Toenail clippings. What's my drink? Wash it all down with the 7-Up. Good. Girl dinner. Girl dinner. How much? Delectable. Red olives? All right. No, 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 no. I'm not taking my vitamins. Miss Applewood, you need to take your vitamins. No, I told you I'm not taking my vitamins, Susan. <sighs> See, this is why I told you to stop yelling so much. I don't yell. Anyways, scrumdiddlyumptious. Miss Applewood, your grandchildren are here to see you. Tell them to go home. I'm busy. You're not busy. I'm trying to see what kind of dog I am. Ah! Today I will be seeing who has a crush on me. Six, five, ha! I would climb that like a tree. Miss Applewood, what did you just say? No one's talking to you, Susan. Bartender, I don't know because I'm a material girl. He doesn't make that much money. Cancer, oh, he's a 10 out of 10 in looks. <laughs> no one would ever have a crush on you, Miss Applewood, because you're not a very nice lady. That's not true, Susan. I have a husband. Now, what is this filter? I'm a fan. Hmm. Ah! Susan! Susan! Why are you spinning? I don't know, but make it stop! Mrs. Applewood lived a long life, but unfortunately, one dreadful day she turned into a fan and she couldn't stop spinning. Not even Susan could he pee her. Bombastic side eye. Girl dinner. Girl dinner. Slay. It's worse than I thought, Doctor. Her dementia is progressing fast. All she can remember is internet sayings from back in her day. My name is Jeff. It's not looking good, Susan. Let me ask her some basic questions. What's 9 plus 10? 21. This isn't good. She doesn't even know basic math. Miss Applewood, do you remember me? What's my name? Who am I? You're a pain in my ass. I'm about like the Barbie. Susan, play Barbie World. Nurse Susan's not on this floor anymore. Who are you? I'm Nurse Jennifer. I'll be taking care of you from now on. No, 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 no. Get Susan. Get Susan. I don't want you. I want Susan. Susan doesn't want to see you. Now take your heart medicine and vitamins. I don't take my medicine. And Susan knows that. And she knows I don't take my vitamins. I want Susan here. If you were nice to Susan, she wouldn't have requested to change floors. <sighs> Whatever. I'll go get her myself. Miss Applewood, no. Hey, stop running. Nerdy dad. Audi and dry, man. Miss Applewood, it's time to take your heart medicine. Susan, you came back for me. I had no choice, Miss Applewood. Nurse Jennifer quit because you hit her with a tray. Good times. That wasn't very nice. Now take your heart medicine. No, 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 no. I don't take my heart medicine, and you know that. If you don't take it, you could have a heart attack. I don't have heart attacks. <gasps> oh, no. <gasps> Miss Applewood. <laughs> That's not funny. That's not something you should joke about, Miss Applewood. <sighs>
Not Ooh, again. Susan! Susan! I'm not falling for it. Bye, Mom. I'm off to school. Don't go to school. Don't go. Actually, I'm not going to school today. I feel sick. Hello? Brianna, are you okay? Are you somewhere safe? Yeah, I'm fine. I just didn't go to school today. Well, it's a good thing you didn't. There were masked intruders at her school. Some people didn't make it out safely. And the worst part is, the police haven't caught them yet. One second, Chad's calling. Hey baby, I miss seeing you today. Yeah, I missed you too, baby. Am I still coming over? No, don't let Chad come over. Chad, it's actually best if you don't come today. But I want to see you, I miss- Hello? Help, help, let me in, someone's chasing me. Please, don't let her in. Hello? Help, help, let me in, someone's chasing me. Please. Don't let her in. Hurry, they're chasing me. Who? Who's chasing you? I don't know, some crazy people wearing masks. Are they close? No, they're far away. Hurry. She's lying. Open up, they found me. <coughs> You're coming with me. Ah, help, help. Mom, where are you? When are you coming home? I'm 15 minutes away. I'm stuck in traffic. Tell her not to come. Don't let her come. Mom, you can't come home right now. Why not? You just can't. Just don't come. Hey, baby. How are you feeling? Chad, how did you get in here? Your window was open. Be careful. Oops, I dropped my... I'll get it. Chad, why do you have a mask? Because you're next. Hmm, I'm in love with Timmy. Here, do the flower test. Yummy. No, don't eat it. To know if Timmy really loves you, you must do the flower test. Flower test? You must rip off each individual petal saying he loves me, he loves me not. If the final petal lands on he loves you, then he loves you. If the last petal lands on he does not, then he doesn't. He loves me, he loves me not. He loves me, he loves me not. He loves me, he loves me not. Sweetie, what's wrong? Timmy doesn't love me. Why didn't daddy come to pick me up at school too? He went to pick up milk. He's never coming back. Hello, daughter. Dad? I'm sorry I left. I want to be in your life again. Ten years later and you want to be back in my life? Only if the flower says you really love me. Hello, daughter. Dad? I'm sorry I left. I want to be in your life again. Ten years later and you want to be back in my life? Only if the flower says you really love me. He loves me? He loves me not. He loves me? He loves me not. You don't love me, Dad. Of course I love you. You're my daughter. Why'd you come back? Look, I need some money. I just need you to ask your mother. Not gonna happen. Why don't you go pick up milk like you said you were going to ten years ago? Hey, baby. Are you okay? I love you. He loves me. He loves me not. He loves me. I love you too. I now pronounce you husband and... Wait... I need you to do the flower test. Right now? I now pronounce you husband and... Wait. I need you to do the flower test. Right now? Yes, I have to be sure. She loves me. She loves me not. She loves me. She loves me not. You don't love me. Why would you agree to marry me if you don't love me? I thought I did, but I wasn't sure. No. You knew. Because if you really love me, you wouldn't even have to think about it. Truthfully, there's someone else. <gasps> I'm sorry. Well, that was embarrassing. I love you, Timmy. Brianna, I love you too. I've loved you since I was six years old. What? But I did the flower test and you didn't love me back. It must have been wrong. Try it again. The flower test doesn't lie. Please, just one more time. He loves me. He loves me not. Sweetie, is it time for school? Yes, I think so. Sweetie, you need to ask, what time is it, Mr. Wolf? What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 8 a.m. It's time for school. Mmm, lunchtime. Brianna, you need to ask Mr. Wolf what time it is. 
What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 12 p.m. It's time for everybody to eat lunch. Except Timmy. It's time for Timmy to be my lunch. No, Mr. Wolf, please! What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 3 p.m. It's time for me to eat you. <laughs> Brianna, you need to ask Mr. Wolf what time it is. Hurry! What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 3 p.m. It's time for me to eat you. <laughs> Brianna, you need to ask Mr. Wolf what time it is. Hurry! What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 3 p.m. It's time for everyone to go home. It's time to go home. I'll see you tomorrow, bestie. Stay safe. You too. Mom, I'm home. I'm so hungry. Mom, is it time for dinner? What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 5 p.m. It's time for me to have my dinner. <laughs> Mom! Sissy, where's Mommy? It's time for dinner. She's just... Sleepy. Why is there a timer above my head? Sissy, hurry. You need to ask. What time is it, Mr. Wolf? Ask what? Why is there a timer above my head? Sissy, hurry. You need to ask. What time is it, Mr. Wolf? Ask what? What time is it, Mr. Wolf? What time is it, Mr. Who? Mr. Wolf! Mr. Wolf! Uh-oh. Looks like little Sissy ran out of time. It's time to be my no. meal. <laughs> Go away. What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 9 a.m. It's time for school. You're late. I don't care. I'm not going. My mom and sister are gone. What? What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 9 a.m. It's time for you to go to school. I told you I'm not going. Hey, Timmy, what am I doing? Baba Six Eye Jinx, you owe me a soda. <laughs> Poor Timmy, he wasn't fast enough. What happened? When you say something at the same time as someone else, the first person to say Jinx survives. If neither of you say it, you both live. But to be safe, I would say it. Good morning. Good morning. Mom. I'm not going to say it. I know that neither of us would ever say that word to each other. Yeah, you're one of the only people I can trust that would never say that word to me. I love you, Mom. Have a good day. Morning, girl. Sophie, look at my new ring. Who got it for you? Jake. Jake. Uh, I'm not... Jinx! Why would you do that? I wasn't going to say the word. I just... I wasn't sure. Class, what's the answer to number three? 24. 24. Uh, sure. Class, what's the answer to number three? 24. 24. Class, I think it would be best if we all just go take a break for a few minutes. What's wrong with you? Why'd you use that word? I was only going to say it because he was going to say it first. Yeah, sure he was. You're the worst, Brianna. <sighs> My boyfriend hasn't been answering his phone all day. Why are you looking extra handsome today, Jakey? Shh, not here. My girlfriend could be around. She's not here. I saw her. She went back to class. Good. Jake! Brianna, I, I can explain. Wait, it's, it's not, not what, what it looks, looks like. like. Jinx, that's what they all say. Men are so predictable. <laughs> oh, Jake, what have you done, Brianna? I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> oh, Jake, what have you done, Brianna? I didn't mean to do that. First Eugene and now Jake, who's next? I didn't mean, mean to. to. Jinx. 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 I said it first. No, I definitely did. No. Jinx. Jinx. It's a tie. It's a tie. Okay, how about we agree that neither of us will say the word? Yeah. Jinx! Jinx. Another tie. Is this going to be a competition of who can say it first? I guess it is. Jinx! Jinx. You're never going to win, Brianna. Brianna. Brittany. You can go first. After, After you. you. Jinx. 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 Jinx! Jinx! Look at Brianna over there. She said J word to her own boyfriend. No way. I saw it with my own two eyes. It never would have happened, Brittany, if you didn't kiss my boyfriend. Oh, honey, we were seeing each other for months behind your back. That's just the first time we got caught. Jeez. 
7 a.m. Waking up in the morning. Gotta be fresh. Gotta go downstairs. Hey, we're gonna have a good day. Goodbye. <coughs> Goodbye, everybody. I've got to go. Stop. In the name of love. What? <coughs> what do you mean? I should have bought you flowers. I can buy myself flowers. And held your hand. I can hold my own hand. I can help falling in love. I might kill my ex. Not the best idea. Ow! What did you do that for? No, no, stop! In the name... I just killed my ex. I might kill my ex. Not the best idea. Ow! What did you do that for? No, no. Stop. In the name. I just killed my ex. I just killed my ex. Not the best idea. It's me. Hi. I'm the problem. It's me. his girlfriend next how'd i get here you are my sunshine my only sunshine mama just killed the man oh no oh no 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 run 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 away <laughs> what are these hearts on my face for mom the hearts represent how many people must fall in love with you before you can meet your soulmate. When they fall in love, you lose a heart. What's the gold heart for? That represents your soulmate. You'll only lose the gold heart when your soulmate falls in love with you. <laughs> Hi, Jake. What do you want? I really like your left elbow. <laughs> what does that even mean? Get out of here. Oh no, what's wrong? I need five people to fall in love with me. Let me. It's never gonna happen. I'm a loser. You're not a loser. You're beautiful. You just need a makeover. Come with me. Who's that fine babe over there? Where? <laughs> He's talking about you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Don't snort. I, I think I'm in love with you. Brianna, you lost a heart. You really do love me. Anna, you lost a heart. You really do love me. We should go on a date sometime. I'm sorry, Jake, but I don't think I'm your type. I'm Brianna. Who? The weird girl. <laughs> There's no way that's you. Goodbye, Jake. You're doing great. You already got someone to fall in love with you. Yeah. Isn't it great? Right? I told you not to snort. I only need three more people to fall in love with me, and then I can meet my soulmate. Look, there's a guy right there. What do I do? Wink at him. Act cute. Do with your hair a bit. Whoa, is everything okay here, little man? Ah. Uh. Yeah, I'm okay. I was actually trying to flirt with you. <laughs> oh, you were? I thought there was something wrong with you. Hey, my name's Jason. What's yours? Brianna. We should exchange numbers. Okay. You lost another heart. No way. Your makeover's working great. Hey, Bri. <laughs> Stop. If you want to get boys, you can't be friends with Kevin anymore. Your makeover's working great. Hey, Bri. <laughs> Stop. If you want to get boys, you can't be friends with Kevin anymore. Brianna, look at this insect I found. <laughs> wow, well, let me see. Brianna, tell him. Kevin, I'm sorry, but we can't be friends anymore. I'm trying to get boys to fall in love with me, so I can't be seen with the weird guy. I really hope that getting boys and being popular is with losing who you are. So after class, we'll go looking for the next guy. Brian, don't wear your glasses. I can't see anything. Why do I have to change everything about myself to get boys to like me? Why can't I just be me? Brianna, wait. This is just so boys will fall in love with you so you can find your soulmate. Once you find your soulmate, you can go back to being yourself again. And who's to say my soulmate's going to love me for who I am? No one else does. Brianna, you lost another heart. You're almost there. But how? I haven't talked to anyone new. You lost another heart. You're almost there. But how? I haven't talked to anyone new. Hey, Brianna. Your grades have been doing phenomenal. You're looking really good these days. I like your new look. I'll see you in class. Do you think it was Mr. Stevens that fell in love with you? For his wife and kid's sake? I hope it's not him. Okay, right in front of you, that's Chad. He's one of the hottest guys in the school. Go up to him and ask if he would like to attend Devin's party with you. Kevin's walking his way. So? Hi, Kevin. Don't talk to me. You're too cool for me, remember, Brianna? <laughs> Brianna, what are you doing? Go talk to Chad. 
Right. Chad. Hi, what's your name? I'm not sure we've met before. <laughs> Stop. Please don't like it when you cry. I don't care. I don't care about Chad. I'm in love with Kevin. Is Kevin more important than your soulmate? He is. Then go to him. Kevin, I... Kevin, I'm so glad we're finally boyfriend and girlfriend. Me too. <laughs> I love you, Cynthia. Kevin, I'm so glad we're finally boyfriend and girlfriend. Me too. <laughs> I love you, Cynthia. How'd it go with Kevin? Did you tell him you like him? He likes someone else. Brianna, you lost your last heart. Someone else fell in love with you. Chad. No, it wasn't Chad. It was me. Oh? Not in a romantic way, in a platonic way. I fell for you and I saw that you stay true to yourself and know what you want. The only person left to fall in love with you is your soulmate. That means I'm going to find my soulmate anytime now. That's the guy I remember. <laughs> it's so great to be myself again. Hey, do you mind if I sit next to you? Uh, okay. Does anyone know the answer to this equation? 7,422. Girl who knows her math. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> it's you. What? Nothing. Congrats on finding your soulmate and getting him to fall in love with you. What's this? It's a list of all the people who fell in love with you before your soulmate. The third person on the list is Kevin. Choose to speak to your soulmate or choose to speak to your mom. My mom passed away when I was three years old. How could I speak to her? Hello, sweetie. Mom? Mom, is that really you? Yes, it is really me. I'm so regretful that I couldn't be in your life more. It really is you. There's so much I've wanted to tell you. Hey, mom? Yes, sweetie? I have a date tonight. I really like him. Aw, that's wonderful. Will you help me choose an outfit for it later? I've always dreamed of my mom helping me get ready for my first date. Of course. Mom, these questions are really hard. Could you help me? Who are you talking to? I'm talking to my mom. She's dead. I got a choice this morning to talk to either my mom or my soulmate. Brianna, I don't want to tell you this, but that is not your mom. Brianna, I don't want to be the one to tell you this, but that is not your mom. I am your real mother. She doesn't know what she's talking about. She doesn't even know me. You're right. You think you know my own mother better than I do? You're just never happy for me. Brianna, wait. Ella's mom, what are you doing here? Ella never came home from school yesterday. Since you're her best friend, I thought you might know where she went. I don't. I'm sorry. Jake, we have to cancel our date tonight. My best friend's missing. I'm really worried about her. That's no problem. Get some rest. Bye. You've been talking to Jake a lot recently. Yeah, I really like him. Honey, hurry downstairs. I have a surprise for you. Surprise! Ella, Jake, I don't think they're breathing. Since you like them so much, I brought them to you. Go team! I knew you would win, Jake. Of course I won. You were cheering me on. Look, it's Porky the Pig. Get it? Because you're fat? <laughs> My name's not Porky, it's Cynthia. Porky, I can smell your Big Mac scented sweat from over here. Stinky, funky, like, ew. Why are you so mean? <laughs> <laughs> Why am I so chubby? How did I gain so much weight in a day? Oh no, did you make someone insecure? You were born with a curse. If you make someone insecure, you'll get their insecurity. So you're saying I'm stuck like this? I'm ready for cheer! Brianna, you really let yourself go. Yeah, don't worry about it. I'll lose weight in no time. Well, until you do, you can't cheer with us. Are you serious right now? <laughs> I'd like to audition for the cheer squad. Porky, you're skinny? I told you, my name's Cynthia. Wait, Cynthia, I should apologize. Mommy, when is Daddy coming back with the milk? It's been two years. <laughs> Stop crying! <laughs> I said stop, you're making it rain. You're six now, so it's time you know. You were born with a curse. Whenever you cry, it rains. You can't tell anyone about this because they might judge you for your curse. I can't believe Derek broke up with me. Aw, oh, Brianna, it's going to be okay. Come on, let's get you home. It's raining. Let's wait till it stops. No, no, it's okay. It will stop raining now. The rain actually stopped. How did you know it would stop raining? I have to tell you something. I was born with a curse. Whenever I cry, it rains. But you can't tell anyone about this, okay? They might judge me for it. Cry, baby. Why would you do that? Come on, cry. I want to see it rain. 
How do you know that? I'm sorry. I told them. Ooh, mommy's makeup. No! You can't ever put anything on your face. Anything that touches your face becomes permanent. Now that blush will be on you forever. What? Mom really wasn't lying. It's never gonna come off. Hey, Brianna, you got some lipstick on your cheek. Here, use one of my makeup wipes. No, it won't come off. Anything that touches my face is permanent. What? <laughs> Brianna, you're so funny. Want to come over to my slumber party tonight? Sure, I'd love to. What should we do now? How about a pillow fight? <laughs> Good night, everyone. I'm so tired. I'm going to bed. Night. Sleep tight. <laughs> Good morning, guys. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Here, you need to look at yourself. You look so silly. Do you know what you guys just did? <laughs>